spotlight. Uh, the the uh, Georgetown County and the Bennell Foundation are partnering, partnering to spotlight a local nonprofit at each county council meeting. This week's featured nonprofit is Freedom Readers. The executive director, Dr. Tracy Bailey, will make the presentation. Council members, Administrator Christian, Ms. Burden. Good evening. My name is Dr. Tracy Bailey, and let me start by saying it is so great to be home. I am a native of Georgetown County, and my family lives in the North Santee area, where Everett, uh, Carolina, represents that area. So I'm so glad to see you this evening. I'm here to speak to you very briefly for the next eight minutes and 32 seconds about Freedom Readers, so that you will know what we do and what we're all about. Please advance the slide. Our mission is to improve reading skills in low-income communities by providing one-to-one -one literacy tutoring, free books for home libraries, and an inspiring, high-energy learning environment. We've been chasing after this mission now for 10 years, and we've been able to touch the lives of hundreds of children and give away thousands of books. Go ahead. Since the pandemic, we understand that uh, children really have been affected and they really have had to, families have had to think about how they're going to assess their children's literacy progress. And that's how we've been able to pivot as an organization. We offer something called the Reading Lab. And any caregiver can contact us and we'll conduct a reading assessment and assign each child a tutor to work with them specifically. They have weekly meetings online or on the phone, and they exchange handwritten letters every week. In the summer of 2020, we served about 46 scholars, and we had about 35 tutors. But when the fall session came around, we had to increase our services, and so now we serve about 67 scholars. We have about 51 tutors through a partnership with Ori Georgetown Technical College, and all of them meet one-to-one -one for personalized instruction. This is Evilio, and he is one of our scholars who lives in the, um, he lives in the Plantersville area, and he is in the third grade. He is one of our success stories. His mom says that he now loves to read, he looks forward to doing it, and he's also practicing his public speaking skills as a part of our program. We also partnered with the Gullah Preservation Society of Georgetown for the summer of 2020. We offered a theme called, How Does Your Garden Grow? Miss Lily Jean Johnson can probably tell you more about that because lots of scholars at her church worked in a garden planted seeds, and then shared lessons with the other Freedom Reader Scholars in two counties. So we believe it was a wonderful success. So as you can see, we've increased what we're doing in the neighborhood and in our communities. So the need for our service has increased, but at the same time, because of the pandemic, our funding has gone down. So we are working on an online fundraiser right now that you should know about. Anyone in this room can participate. We are offering sponsorships, but we're also going to give some special people a link to our chocolate making demonstration. For a particular sponsorship, we will deliver a box of handmade chocolates to you. Our guest host is celebrity chef Jeffrey Blunt, who works at Ori Georgetown Technical College, and he is going to be preparing those chocolates. You may have seen him on the Holiday Baking Championship on Food Network. Next. We know that we are in the minority of nonprofits around the country who are attempting virtual fundraisers, so we hope that you would consider one of the sponsorships listed on the screen or you can contact me if you'd like to support Freedom Readers. There are other ways that you can help us. We need volunteer literacy tutoring. You can host a book drive, and you can find out other ways that you can get books from our wish list. 
But what I want to leave you with is this thought. Without a strong foundation in reading, our children will not reach their full potential. We know that kids that are not reading at grade level by third grade struggle to catch up, and many of them do not graduate from high school. We want the best for our students, especially all of those who live in Georgetown County. So let us come together and support them at a time like this and always. Thank you for your time.